tuned in to Ask the Good Doctor live each and every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon Central, and 10 a.m. Pacific. Dr. LaJoyce Brookshire is here to answer your questions live. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Ask the Good Doctor. I'm Dr. LaJoyce Brookshire. Thank you so much for joining us. And today we are going to strain some plum wine. Yes. Now, I know some of you all may be saying, didn't she just talk to us about detoxing? Yeah, I did. Well, part of the detox program though is doing things yourself. So I have had this plum wine actually in the making since the summer. And first it starts with plums in the bottom with just sugar and it ferments and makes its own juice. So the plums came up to right here where you see them in the bottom here, like around here. And then it just made its own liquid all by itself. And right here live, I showed you all, I burped the bottle and the it, it gave that little suction sound which let you know I did it right, I did it right. Uh, uh, uh. So I'm making it myself. Why plums? First of all, plums are excellent for the colon. Yeah, they're excellent. Their plums can become prunes just like grapes. Oh, and that is so good for your digestive tract. It is so good. They're a demulcent, which means that it coats the lining and it helps. It's also a mucilage, which helps your poop slide on out. Okay, that's a good thing about the plums, but also they're loaded with antioxidants. It's the deep red power of the purple. All of those purple berries, all of those purple fruits and vegetables, like that's why you all love elderberry so much and peronia, we've learned about that here. Well, also the power of the plum. So today I'm gonna to show you how I strain it. I actually take this wine this is, I always talk to you all about no antibiotics, no hormones, and no nitrates and no nitrites. Well, this product has no nitrates, no nitrites. I get it at Wegmans, believe it or not. It's just called Sweet Nectar, Sweet White Wine. And the bonus is it's really cheap, $6 a bottle. What? So it doesn't have to be expensive for it to be better for you. And I'm going to refill these bottles and then I'm going to let these bottles sit. Well, first of all, let's talk about this. I took, once I burped this bottle, I burped this bottle after I had let it ferment for several months, probably for about from August to about December. I burped it. Then I poured in these. Now I said that I was going to pour it back from here for our New Year's Day get down. But the state that we are today, we didn't have a New Year's Day to get down. So I haven't done it yet. So I figured I'd do it for you. Now, I'm not going to drink it now because I'm detoxing. But I'll let it sit like this until Easter. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be so good by then. It'll have a chance to do its thing. So the first thing that we're going to do, the oh, first thing we're going to do is burp this bottle. OK, so I have to stand up and say, oh, and I burped it just a little bit when I moved it. Well, let's see what happens. Ah, it did it. It did it. Ah, 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 it did it. Yes. 
oh my gosh, that smells so good. It is so fruity. That's what we want though, right? It's nothing but organic cane sugar and plums. That's it. That's all. Organic cane sugar plums and this wonderful wine that has no nitrites and no nitrates. Now, this is going to probably look really awkward, but I'm going to do my best because this is heavy. I'm turn it this way. I don't want to really talk over it. All right. I'm going to pour it in. I'm going to make a mess probably, but here we go. Yeah. I'm going to dip it down just a little bit so you all can really see. Okay, there you go. Can you see good now? There you go. I don't care about being cut off. Chris might care. I don't care. IW is going to really care. He's going to scream at us. Okay. So we're going to save some of this sediment here. Ooh, look at that. That's the skin that popped off all by itself. See, these processes are really good. See, I'm a geek. I geek out over this because basically cooking is science. Yeah, that's why they tell you to bake things for so many minutes. It's been tested in the test kitchen. They tell you how long to do the thing thing. All right. We take the tops off and I have a funnel and everything here has been sanitized. My hands are clean. And I pour it in with this huge spout here. Now, if any of you have never embarked upon making wine, I've showed you step by step how to do this. Now, I don't want you to be afraid of doing things yourself. Boy, that's heavy. I don't want you to be afraid of doing things yourself. Okay? I don't. Okay, here we go. Number two. Ah, I'm making a mess. That's all right. Here's one thing. It sure is sticky. That's for sure. Trying to fill them all up equally because we have more in the container here. And that's going to have like a little sediment in the bottom. Oh, boy. I really need to be doing this over the sink, but I really wanted to show you all. <laughs> Good thing this is just for me and my family. All right. Now. We get down to the bottom of it to make some more. Because see, the wine is, you know, if you're going to have some, make it yourself. Yeah? And it's so gratifying. That's just like, you know, you make a cake or something, and you know that you made it with your hands, and it seems to taste so much better when you do. That's the whole concept but you know what's in it. Do you believe it or not that there are toxic ingredients in alcohol? So if you're going to drink, if you're going to have alcohol, there is organic, there are organic lines of alcohol. There really are. And you can, you can purchase those. They're pretty expensive. They're good. They're real good. But when you could do this, why not? And if you like a fruity, if you like something with fruit, just get a fruit that's in season. Look at those, look at those plums. A fruit that's in season. You have to start with a fruit that was in season, okay? Otherwise it's for naught. Now, some people like to eat the rest of these like this, too mushy for me. I, I'm, I'm a texture chick. I don't like mushy vegetables or mushy fruit. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip on that. And nobody in my house likes to eat those either. So we'll just, we'll just leave it there. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, the choice. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you how to get that done. Oh, my gosh. See, that still has a little ferment stuff going on. It bubbled up. You see that? Up. Oh, I am making a whole entire mess. That's all right. I clean it up. I'm the cleaner around here, so it's all good. It's all good. And I have just a little extra left. I'm going to pour it in this one. Oh, we're perfect. And it's a perfect amount because that's how much I pour it in here. Yes, all the way up to the rim. And we'll do it. 
I want to I want you to share with me your stories. Now, here's the thing. There will be no plum wine before it's time. I know you've heard that adage before. There shall be no kind of wine before it's time. This is why good wines cost what they do. And but one thing, nitrates. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But nitrates and nitrites are a problem. They're a problem for our bodies. They overtax our immune systems. And it clogs up the whole immunity system, the whole the entire immune system. We got to stop doing that. We got to start reading labels. As we lay down the weight this year, one of the things it should include is reading labels. Yeah. You're going to find, I'm going after some more warning labels. I promise you, we're going to get at some more warning labels. Once you start reading the warning labels, you're going to find that a lot of stuff that you love, you're going to need to put it down. You're going to need to lay that down. I'm just going to take just a little bit of shot here because I need to get some out. Oh, what an excuse. Huh? Let's see. When I tell you that is good, that is some kind of good. Mm. Mm. And we'll just let that sit some more. See, because I don't mind. Some people don't like delayed gratification. I do. I like to take my time and watch stuff be made. I like to watch sprouts, bean sprouts. Remember how we did green bean sprouts here? We'll do them again this year. Get back on your bean sprouts if you got off your bean sprouts. The most alkaline food on the planet. And, you know, I don't drink wine every day. I don't drink wine every week. I don't drink wine once a month. But if I drink it, I'm going for it like this. Okay. I want you to not be afraid to venture into making such a thing. Don't be afraid. Try something new in your kitchen. I want to encourage you to do that this year. Try something new in your kitchen. If you like wine, okay, make some. I have a friend who lives in this community who makes their own beer. Yes, if you like beer, make some. You think this is a long process. Oh, making beer is a long process. But if you like it, then it's worth it. Huh? This is worth it. And it started as white and now it's red. It were, they were plums and they fermented and did their own thing. And now there's wine. There's wine. Hmm. Try your own fruit. Don't bark at me. Try your own fruit. Some people like strawberry wine. I think that's interesting. Strawberry wine. I remember Boone's Farm, strawberry wine, Boone's Farm, apple wine. Well, all of those wines <laughs> back in the day when we didn't know what we were doing and had no business drinking wine in the first place. Anyway, I digress. If you're going to drink some, drink some and do help, be healthy in drinking it. And, you know, it's not something that you want to do all of the time. And you don't want to drink alcohol to get drunk. That's not the point. Don't do that. A little taste with a meal, a little taste, a little aperitif with some friends. That's it. That's enough. That's all. And that's all I have for you today. Actually, I just wanted to show you this process of this plum wine today because it's worth the wait. I guess that's something else that we could talk about. You know, attaining perfect health is not an expedient thing because there's some things that need to be reversed. There's some things that need to be tackled and you didn't get that way overnight and it's not going to go away overnight, just like you don't get plum wine overnight. You don't get perfect health overnight either. But oh, once you get there, once you know what to do, once you know how to plan, shop and cook and make things for yourself, once you let go of those things that have been dragging you down, you never go back. You never go back. And if you do, you go back to the first thing that you knew that helped get you out of that condition. You go back to that. So join me as we continue to lay down the weight. I want to encourage you to try to make some of your own wine. It's so worth it. And right now I'm out of time. 
So I want to thank my team, IW, supervising producer, Christopher Green, technical producer, and announcers DJ Indy and Chris Brown. I'm Dr. LaJoyce Brookshire, here to help you attain and maintain your perfect health. To let your eyes shine, cut back on the wine. Get good food fast and go easy on the greasy. Until next time, I'm Dr. LaJoyce Brookshire here to help you attain and maintain your perfect health. Let's do it again next week, okay? God bless you.